I've seen the effects of global warming. You know, it's, it's actually not good. When it's summer, it's raining a lot. It's raining a lot. So it's cold, especially this January, um, early January. It was raining a lot. It was really cold. And we're getting sick. I got sick last week. I don't think it's just happening. Yeah. I think we're the one that are causing it. Electricity generation is a very, very dirty thing to do for the environment. Most electricity worldwide is still generated by burning coal. When you burn coal, you produce copious amounts of carbon dioxide. And in fact, for every kilowatt hour of electricity that is generated, approximately one kilogram or two pounds of carbon dioxide is put into the atmosphere. I'm not certain how many people really make the strong connection between the generation of electricity, the usage of energy, and that global climate change or global warming that's going on. I think what will happen in the long-term future is that the generation of children right now, children that are five to 10 years old, that will grow up over the next 10 years or so with significant electricity shortages, they will grow up more aware of energy conservation, more aware of energy efficiency, and on average, that generation of people, when they get to the 20s and 30s and 40s, will be more likely to be energy conscious. The problem we have in the country right now is we can't wait that long. You operate electricity. They need to have a coal, and this, this coal must be burned. So obviously, the smoke goes up there, and that it creates a global warming. So. Now I joined Fruit and Trees. We are busy helping people, teaching them how to plant trees and stuff. If more people knew about global warming, they will take care of their atmosphere, their surroundings. It was cool. Now it's getting very hot. Especially between uh, in the morning. It's in very the hot. Yeah. The weather is changing yeah. very quickly. If we all use energy in the best and most economical way, then we can have a good future on this planet. Oh, boy.